Sup people, Smith here, and uh, back with more Black Ops 3, and this time, a little treat. Fucking Ninja Sword. Oh yeah. Well, it's time to shell this guy. And fail, easily. My second game, so let me off. My timing's a little bit off with it. Um, but yeah, I finally got something fucking rare. Um, I got it in a common supply drop, weirdly enough, even though... Failed Rakon, even though I've spent, I think, about 4,000 keys on rare supply drops. Not bought keys, just ones I've earned and saved. And I literally got none of the rare weapons at all. Um, and then I just thought, you know what, I'm going to open a common supply drop. And first one I opened, hello. So yeah, got to give it a go. But um, yeah, I'll talk about the, the classes, obviously, mainly based around the sword. I'm going to shank the crap out of that guy there. Um, but the key things with the class are the Tomahawk, which I'm really loving at the moment. Um, and as you saw there, the Heat Wave. Uh, the Heat Wave guy is pretty crazy good for things like this. Um, <clears throat> people don't tend to use it quite so much in uh, core, but it's actually pretty useful. Recharges pretty quick, like a lot of the defensive perks. I so hear that guy wall running a mile off. Um, but in terms of the perk setup, I'm running pretty much the, uh, the stealth perks, I'm running your dead silence and an uh, attack mask um, so I don't get stunned by my own stuns half the time like that. Um, and I do a lot of wall running and jumping as this guy is useless. Um, <laughs> thank god for the stun grenade. And uh, yeah, the other, the other sort of stealthy side of the perks are the, uh, the blue section, the tier ones. Uh, I'm using ghost uh, and also overclock because I really want to get the fire break wave as soon as poss um, because you know that stuff is going to get me some free kills at some points um the other sort of middle tier tier two is not you know there's it's not essential i mean i'm running i'm actually running scavenger because i just want to be able to scavenge tomahawks all the time um which is pretty easy to do in this game for once they're actually highlighting in a different color so you can see them on the map but well, i failed miserably and get pissed off um and the second perk is the hardwired because being stealthy, you pretty much want to be immune to things like those crappy little trip mines, the little shock spikes, um, but also you're you're covered by the um, not showing up on their sixth sense, which I think since since a few of the uh, <clears throat> things like awareness have been patched, more people are going back to using that. Um, and if you if you don't have it, a nice little tomahawk there as I slide through the door, um, then if you don't have it on any class, then it's actually ridiculously annoying if someone's quite good with it. Um, so there's a few times where I've just kind of wished I had one class set up like it, so now I always make sure I've got something. Um, another little shank. Surprise, bitch! Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, it's obviously identical to the knife. It just looks way, way cooler. Um, and the tomahawks I'm just having a lot of fun with. Um, so. I've seen a lot of people trying to use it and failing miserably, but all they're doing is they're kind of using the standard class but just running around with a knife. Um, using things like Ripper when you're running knife as well, which, you know, Ripper's crazy and uh, it recharges mega quick, but what you want to try and do is match your specialist to kind of the weapons you're using. So if you're using like a range limited weapon, then ideally you want to have a, a range heavy specialist. So, you know, the kind of one shot pistol, um, that kind of stuff. Um, if you're using a short range weapon like this, where you need to get really, really close, then you know, it makes sense to use the fire break. Um, as I'm kind of hanging out here, I know these people are here, but instead of rushing around the corner and dying, like a lot of people just do with knife, just run in, fail, wait for the heat wave, make sure they're all around. Totally missed that guy somehow. Um, and then it's just free to pick up tons of kills with it. I think that's about 10 to streak with it. Um, this guy tries to punch me to death. Sorry, mate. Got a ninja sword. Not happening. Um, and like that, that's quite cool. But you can kind of get distracted running around the map just swinging the sword around and then realize that you're just ignoring everyone and dying. Um, but this is my second game with it, I think. Uh, I wasn't really expecting it to do well. But I guess the other thing to do is to make sure you adjust your score streaks. You're not going to get your wraps and your wraith, or well, you might do. I think I probably would have done if I kept it on, but realistically speaking, you want to reduce them down. Um, and yeah, it's all in all, it's pretty good fun, looks pretty cool. No idea what that guy's doing there, but nice little kill cam. So yeah, um, 
<laughs> I don't know. I don't even want to say give it a go because you got to get the fucking thing first. And it took me a long time. But yeah, best of luck getting it. Um, next thing I want to get is the M1 Grand. So look out for more from me. Um, and that's it. So cheers for watching, and I'll catch you later. Bye. I'll burn everything you care about to the ground.